Acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, is a rare form of cancer that typically affects older adults, but can occur at any age and is slightly more common in males than females. AML is a type of blood cancer that starts in the bone marrow, the soft inner part of the bone where stem and blood cells are formed. In AML, something goes wrong with the DNA in bone marrow cells, causing normal bone marrow cells to become leukemia cells. DNA is the material that carries all the information about how our bodies look and function. Each piece of information is carried on a different section of DNA, and these sections are called genes. Genes tell a cell how to make a specific protein, which is used by the cell to grow and survive. DNA is organized into tightly coiled thread-like bundles called chromosomes that contain thousands of genes. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, each different in their length, shape, and the number and type of genes they carry. AML is classified into several broad subtypes based on cell features and genetics. People with AML could have damage in a gene's DNA sequence, called a genetic mutation. Or they could have damage to part of a chromosome. In most cases, we don't know why DNA damage happens, and there is no way to prevent it. But we do know you can't give it to somebody or catch it from somebody. In acute promyelocytic leukemia, or APL, genetic damage causes parts of chromosomes 15 and 17 to switch places with each other. This exchange of parts of chromosomes is called translocation. The changed chromosome, 15, contains a new gene called PML RARA, which is found in almost all people with APL. The PML RARA gene causes stem cells to get stuck at an early stage in their development and start to grow uncontrollably, causing cancer. Other subtypes of AML may contain different chromosomal changes, such as chromosomal deletion, where part of a chromosome is removed, chromosomal addition, where genetic material is added to a chromosome, Chromosomal inversion, where a section of a chromosome breaks off and flips before reconnecting. Chromosomal duplication, where an extra copy of a chromosome is made. The subtype of AML and the genetic makeup of the leukemia affect the type and the amount of treatment needed. The most common treatment for AML is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to destroy fast-growing cancer cells. Chemotherapy is often followed by other treatments, such as targeted drug therapy and stem cell transplantation, where damaged bone marrow cells are replaced with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. Advances in AML research are resulting in better and safer treatments that are improving the quality of life for patients today. New clinical trials continue to offer even more hope. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada to learn more. It's important to know that you will be better able to manage your AML and have a better quality of life by reaching out, communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You are not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand AML and manage the road that lies ahead.